My name is Dean Bogg, and this is episode 10 of Neighborhoods. If you're new to the show, it works like this. Every week I create a vloggy documentary about a different Pittsburgh neighborhood and then deliver it to you on the silver platter of YouTube. Each episode contains my hot and spicy take on the neighborhood, interviews, interviews with local, with interviews, interviews with, with, stop that, and a ranking of the neighborhood based on hard facts and arduous research. No questions. Always been that way, or no. is it changing? No. Pittsburgh is known for its neighborhoods. Right. The same people and families live in the same neighborhoods generation after generation. And this was just one of them. It had a lot of Polish and Italian. Aha. Uh -huh. How can we hold on to that history? I documenting it yeah. is the only way. Because time moves on, things change. Perhaps my favorite thing about Greenfield is the absurdity of its placement. Almost the entire neighborhood is built on a huge, steep hillside. Some of the streets are so steep that they have steps for sidewalks. This week I felt more like a mountaineer than a pedestrian. The hills provide some of the best views in all of Pittsburgh. And like everywhere else in the city, where there are hills, there are steps. Hello. They call me the Stray Whisperer. Ow. No biting. Okay, and why did you choose Greenfield when you were looking? Because I looked up Squirrel Hill on Craigslist and the listing said Squirrel Hill slash Greenfield. And I got tricked because it turns out it was in Greenfield, not Squirrel Hill. But it's much cheaper than Squirrel Hill, so I feel like it all worked out. Okay, so, so you were yeah. trying to live in Squirrel Hill. Yeah, because that's where all the cool kids live, but... Fuck the cool kids, you know? Like, what do they know? They're paying like 800 or 900. I, I, I pay 500, it's great. I live right around the corner from a giant eagle. When I want cheese, I'll just get cheese, you know? Like it's 12 at night, cheese. So is Greenfield not hip? I don't think so, but who cares about hip also? It's a, it's a fine residential community, like it says. The street I live on is really nice. Like I, I met friends with my neighbors, there's a Chinese woman who criticizes how bad my Chinese is. I talked to my neighbor, Lee. Feels like home here. Yeah. yeah so. Greenfield has become a hotbed for young families looking to build a nest. It's centrally located, but not as expensive as Squirrel Hill and not as collegiate as Oakland. Despite this influx of young families, Greenfield is far from being yuppified. There are still loads of multi-generational Greenfield residents living here. It's charming here. It's not pretentious and it's not too wealthy either. The average price of a home is just under $200,000, and you can find a decent apartment for around 500 bucks a month. We are like Mayberry. What's Mayberry? Like, oh God, he's like young. Andy Griffin. Andy Griffith. Uh-huh, you know, okay. Everybody knows their neighbors and you know, especially... I got more cups in our community. Okay, years thank ago, you. it used to be when, like, unfortunately, if there was a funeral, like if somebody passed, your neighbors would come, cook, clean, do whatever needed to be done for the family. It's just who we are. We just take care of each other. And now we're going through a transition where things are changing. How? Uh, we're we're getting a lot of new people. There's different cultures, well. different ethnic backgrounds. And that's, I enjoy it. I like learning about new people and, and things like that. So, like I said, my great grandparents lived here. My grandparents lived here. My aunt grew up and was born and died in the house that she was born in. She lived there for 80 years. Nice. It's very, you know, we're all very local. Yes. We take care of each other.
Greenfield has a reputation for quality youth sports. There are three baseball fields here, the most spectacular being McGee, which is right next to the pool, the basketball courts, and the rec center. I take it it's Pittsburgh themed? It is in fact Pittsburgh themed, Okay. Yes. Did you grow up in Pittsburgh? I did. Okay. Alrighty. Should we go for one? Sure. Uh, this poem is called Poka Your Way Through Life. Okay. When life's got you down and the Steelers have lost the game. Get your best girl and get your feet on the ground to an accordion. When your girlfriend broke up with you, when your boyfriend broke up with you, when your spouse left you, when the chips are down, when your taxes are due, when your boss has you down, or the bus is late, or you're trying to get down Rialto Street in the middle of winter. Don't stress. Grab the nearest trumpet, fill your plate with some halushki. Sing. My grandma used to tell me, always bring cookies to weddings and polka your way through life. Hell yeah. Yeah. There's some great like little secrets about Greenfield too. Okay. Uh, we have a parakeet somewhere. It's loose. <laughs> a parakeet? There's a loose parakeet in Greenfield. I've been filming a lot of birds. I have not seen a parakeet. It's there somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully he makes it through the winter. There seems to be, especially around staghorns. Mm -hmm. Staghorns? Staghorn. Staghorn. No S. No S. I've yeah. noticed a lot of moms. Oh yeah, mom um, central. Mom central. Yeah. That's a fair description. Yeah. Okay, good. If you're a coffee shop dweller like myself, I highly recommend Staghorn. It is, however, a bit of a mom hangout, so expect some crying babies. Okay, that makes for 10 episodes. If you're still watching this, thank you, I love you. Sounds kind of weird to say, but I do. Uh, I'm going to commit to 10 more, and I'm also gonna be launching a Patreon in the coming months, so if you're a fan of Neighborhoods and you get enjoyment out of this, you can support the show financially and allow me to do this full time. Um, there are things that I need. For instance, oh, now it's going to work. This mic is broken. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear what I'm saying? This mic is broken. I don't know if you could hear what I just said, but the mic is broken. So, for instance, that's something I would use the Patreon money to purchase a new mic. Patreon is a site where I can give you access to extra stuff. What would you like to see on a neighborhood's Patreon page? behind the scenes, uh, director's commentary, uh, maybe we could do a one-on-one -on -one video chat. Uh, any ideas that you have, please comment below.
I do read the comments, although I don't always respond. Again, thank you for watching and commenting. Uh, this series is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I have an enormous amount of love for Pittsburgh and for the people that watch this and support the show. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to crank out 10 more. Alrighty. Thanks for having me, Greenfield.